Because I used to see him in the gym knocking people out, knocking guys out. Bah! Mike used to knock out somebody every day of the week. Come on, Dan. Get your head free. That was good. Hey, go eat that chair. See, come on, come on. Don't put your arm around. Tyson is no doubt one of the best athletes who ever went into the ring great puncher. Great upper body movement. and a class act to watch when he was in shape. Nineteen eighty seven shows a twenty year old Mike Tyson doing some routine training. This isn't a training video.
is no guarantee there is a page for you in the history books. It must be earned. Mike Tyson knows those from the ring who will forever have their greatness preserved. defeated in his professional career with 29 wins, no defeats, 26 KOs. He is the WBC, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Don't throw any punches during the break. Is that understood? Sergeys, come out fighting. Tyson starts out with the right hand. Tyson, because you see here, Mike can throw punches to a fighter. What he means by that is he comes in, he feigns left, he feigns right. There's a big left hand by Tyson, but Thomas is all right. One of those punches is going to land. The left hook there. Beautiful left hook. He has just not let... Well, I stated earlier, the key to this punch for uh, Pickle Thomas is a jab. Up, upright, and all Tyson's doing is nailing. His legs are not rock solid at this moment either. And a big left hand right the jaw of Pinklin Thomas. Thomas is in all kinds of trouble. Still 30 seconds to go in the round. I'm, ex I'm expecting to see a lot of guys tie up Mike Tyson. As long as he stays in front of Mike, Mike's going to land punches. Mike isn't so conscious of that now. But you see what happens, Barry. I'm not watch sure that is a cut over the left eye of Thomas. I think it's blood from... He needs to pick his pace up a little bit, like he did just then. Mike Tyson shots. retaliates. Fuse Mike Tyson a little bit, right? He scored with that uppercut. Long left hand by Tyson. And a left hand and that staggered Thomas. Bolo punch, kind of bolo. Double right hand. Hand to right hand to Tyson. He wants Thomas to spin his man off. Get back on his bicycle, but not move too much. And use the jab. He has to understand the key to, to winning is do it your way. There was a big uppercut by Tyson. And a right hand behind it. Thomas in trouble again. And now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts and a left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. And down he goes. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it by the count of ten. You heard in the corner. King of the corners of the four square wing, you have won the ultimate championship of the world. You are hereby proclaimed throughout the world as the undisputed heavyweight champion. One man, one crown, one champion. Stand firm and hold fast. It wasn't that long ago that Mike Tyson was simply unbeatable. Tyson was the king of the ring. No more had to be said. For a time, he was being mentioned in the same breath as Muhammad Ali and Joe Lewis. How then did Mike Tyson fall so far, so fast? Once the king of the ring, Mike Tyson was the greatest heavyweight world champion since Muhammad Ali. I don't have to talk, do I? Because I don't really, I don't know what to say.
Now you can notice right now the way Tyson and time. I think uh, anytime Mike Tyson steps underneath those ropes, he's out there for big intent tonight anyway. People want to see Mike Tyson in action, and they're probably going to get the full. I'm not clowning around just for the benefit of the fans here. I want to come back to Chicago as a headliner again. Oh, he really was. It knocked out virtually every Former heavyweight champion Larry Hall. Hey, look at that. Team. What a good combination. Several preliminary fights, Ben, you and I tonight. Uh, some smaller guys. It can't be easy to find guys that want to step in the That's ring and right. practice with Mike Tyson. Well, then you know that he's got a fight coming up. And boy, they are eating it up. Yeah, heavyweights to, to go up against. I mean, it's tough to learn when you're torn down a little bit. See, they're not playing around. Just get the crowd excited. In other words, if you were talking, you say, well, there's nobody around. Well, he's got Larry Holmes coming up in January. Yes. And... Uh, Let's play Twinkle Toes. Probably not until early 89. Michael Spinks, which is one that a lot of people. Well, just. The well, Holy Angels has just passed the midway well. point of round two. So there's two and a half or three to go and shuffle. <laughs> Good oh. body with two. Oh. Ernie Terrell, who worked with Father Clements, put together a great show. Should be fun. Tyson with a good combination. Golly, golly, <laughs> you know. If I were James Quintillus, I don't know if I'd want to hit Mike too hard. You know, you wouldn't want to head here. They're not playing around, Dan. He's not a big person. He can oh. help him outside. From what I've seen of Mike Tyson, I can't see Larry. You see how big those gloves are? Oh, and look. Take a look at some of the action there from round three, and again, these two going at each other pretty hard for an exhibition. Oh, Mike's trying to set up something to let him get off. I'm glad you brought that up, script writer. I saw something about Tyson is to grab and hold and smother, and Tyson has proven that he's so cool. Another good play. Yes. Yes. The yes. Yes. heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> In person. He has taken a few of Muhammad Ali's moves. That was a good left hook. He weighs 216 pounds from Catskill, New York. 27 of his 31 unblemished victories are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson! Gentlemen, you received your instructions prior to coming to the ring. Therefore, I expect a good, clean bout. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves, go back to your corner. Good luck. Three questions that Mike Tyson really has to answer. Can he cope with a clever boxer? Can he survive a heavy puncher? Let's throw the jab like he's doing now, not to let Tyson stand up. He's very good. You have so said that. that he has found a pattern in Tyrell Big. Leverage. See, a good snapping jab is very effective. Whether or not Bates will keep this up is yet to be seen. Teofilo Stevenson, and I admit it was five years ago, but he really bothered There me. is the hook, again, because his hands are down. He's moving right, but he keeps his hands down too low. And the game plan was for Biggs, rather, to move to his left. And the right hand does the most damage. There was a big right hand, best punch of the fight. That was the left hook, Barry. That was the left hook I was talking about. Biggs has been on his uh, flat footed more in this round than he was in the first round got nailed with the left hook he has shown in the past that he takes a good punch and working a jab like Kevin Rooney stated people don't realize this and I learned this from Andrew Dundee it's not a matter how long you jab but that offsets someone else's jab and the left hook the hook's gonna land all night Barry because his right hand is down Body shot with the left hand. He 
He's trying to outmuscle Mike Tyson. And there's a huge left hand. A little more up by the movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start throw some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. And a combination by Tyson, a left and a right behind him. I don't know if Tyrell's gonna recognize himself when he wakes up tomorrow morning. I don't know what that was a second ago. Simple. Well, I think this is a good education for the public because he continues, Barry, to allow Mike to dominate. Just because Tyson is hard. Good body shot by Mike Tyson. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. Like Mike Tyson's fight. I, I love those body shots, Barry. Quick kill and try to do it, generally speaking, with one punch. You know what's happening here. Actually, these two, of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Another left hand, and there's a great shot. Biggs is in trouble. He told him, his trainer said, if your legs are gone, stand and fight him. Stand toe to toe and fight him. Point in the last round, our punch that figures Tyrell Biggs threw 15 punches, Ray. I break, no punch him, step that He dropped snipes with a good right hand. But he Rolling didn't put him away. The elbow there. Oh, that punch. That was a tremendous left hand. Big one, and I feel like I'm being redundant with that, but he hit him with many big left hands, Ray. Well, look at look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs. It's down, and the left hook has been landing from round one. But the first, the first minute or two of round one, Biggs is doing his job, boxing, now he becomes a stationary target. That total -to toe tactics proved wrong against David Bay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this, this is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. And what we've seen has happened so often in which a fighter after a few rounds starts to hang on to Tyson.